Hello and welcome to the first lecture of the series, Preparing Yourself for Job Search. So as I have said in the introduction lecture that preparing your job search is the first lecture of the 12 lecture series. And here I will discuss on how to use your degree timeline and how to optimize your profile uh, and how to think about uh, your next step, whether it would be industry or academia. So when it comes to completion of degree, you should have a long-term plan uh, in terms of when you are trying to graduate. A lot of the students, uh, especially MS and PhD students, think that they will graduate when the supervisor says so. Uh, it's, uh, to my opinion, is a wrong approach. Uh, you should be very communicative with the supervisor <clears throat> to optimize your timing of the graduation so that you have necessary accomplishments that make you prepared for the job field. And also you should think about the field of expertise so that you can think ahead what is going to happen or what might happen when you graduate. Is this going to be a good field and what skills are to be achieved when you graduate? And here I have mentioned diversified projects because it's very unlikely that you will be landing a job that is uh, directly associated with your MS or PhD thesis. Rather, uh, maybe you will be having a job that is particularly associated with a skill, a software, uh, or a particular project. That's why when you take coursework, try to diversify those so that you have a list of diversified and transferable skill set at the end of your graduation. And also sometimes uh, publications help, especially if you are trying to go to the academia. So try to get at least a few publications at the end of your degree, uh, that is when you graduate. And being in good terms, making relationships and networks, that helps a lot. A lot of the students that do not talk to their supervisor, anything else um, other than their PhD thesis topic or MS thesis topic. They do not talk about uh, their career track. They do not talk about field of expertise. They do not talk about any other things with the supervisor, which is wrong because you can actually utilize your supervisor's expertise and knowledge uh, for the next step because he or she knows uh, how the field works, what is the current state of the art of the field, and he or she can uh, direct you uh, in the right track. And also, uh, you should not think that all of the relationships end with the graduation, uh, that is getting an MS or PhD degree, you should uh, keep communicating with your faculty members and your peers and your networks uh, and your colleagues because uh, you will have you may have to reach out to them for referrals or letter of recommendations. And these actually help as a part of your application package, whether it be in industry or academia, especially uh, in academia. And deciding about trajectory, we do not think much about our trajectory until we graduate, which is a wrong approach uh, because sometimes we get rushed into thinking that uh, we will take whatever the job, uh, whatever job uh, that I get. But before you graduate, at least a few semesters before, at least one or two semesters before you graduate, you should think about your trajectory and you should select or prefer uh, or set a preference between industry versus academia so that you can fine tune and tailor uh, your profile according to your target so that after five years of your graduation, uh, you can see yourself in a position that you really want. Um, otherwise, you may end up doing a job that you do not like at all. And I have already mentioned diversification of projects, but you should have, um, through the projects, you can actually uh, get a lot of diversification of skills. That is skills that show uh, that you can actually work in different sectors. So in order to diversify skills, you should uh, design your projects associated with coursework uh, that actually uh, add values to your profile and shows that uh, you 
can actually independently work in different fields. Multidisciplinary expertise is actually a very important. And there are other ways to diversify your skills. You can try to get an internship that will give you a practical uh, experience of the industry or academia. If you are in a field that requires a lot of coding, you can try to um, uh, do some coding practice or you can make a repository of your coding so that you can showcase them. And also you should make a detailed portfolio of your achievements and your projects and also your publications and everything so that uh, in, in a resume, you cannot put everything in detail, but sometimes recruiters or hiring managers may uh, want to see a sample of your work. So if you start making a portfolio from the very beginning of your degree or coursework, at the end of the coursework, you will see a very enriched portfolio uh, with a lot of relevant information and that will add value to your profile and make you a stronger candidate for a job. And always try to showcase them in a very professional and good manner uh, so that they make sense. Try to make a portfolio that uh, not only shows a very uh, grandiose scheme of uh, figures and uh, data, but try to make sure that they give a particular quantitative and specific message like what you did and what you achieved, what results did you get from your projects. So that's how you uh, use your projects and diversification of skills. And a lot of the people, they do not start preparing profiles. So they have to end up spend a lot of time optimizing their uh, application materials like resumes or CVs. So that's why before you graduate, you should start preparing drafts of your profile. It doesn't matter if you do not have uh, much uh, stuff to add to your profile before your graduation. But if you start preparing drafts, you can start optimizing them before uh, your publication and when you, uh, before your uh, graduation. And when you gra actually graduate, you will have a very uh, customized, optimized, and uh, very fine tuned resume CVs, cover letters and application packages and uh, other statements that you have to make as a part of the application package for the academia job or industry job. Uh, so these actually help and uh, these all um, preparing your, uh, preparing these drafts of your profile uh, will also help you fine tune and think about your trajectory. Uh, that is also a very helpful point. Um, about the application packages and the elements of them, uh, I will also discuss in the following lectures. So that's uh, all I had to say about preparing yourself for job search. I hope that helps.